Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome back to my Avengers save here on Football Manager 2016. Now today, we have the second leg of the Olympic Marseille game. Now, before we go into that, we've got one game to tell you about. It was in the Serie A, it was our first game of the season, and we won 2-0 against Carpi. Paco Alcacer got both goals, he was really good, especially in the first half. Um, and yeah, we dominated the game, we were comfortable from then on out. Uh, we played a little bit of a rotating team, the likes of Kovacic and Stark and Barbosa at right mid um, coming in, as well as, yeah, Licksteiner and Kolarov. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a um, decent enough team to quite comfortably beat Carpi. But we have to concentrate on this game because we are 1-0 up and we do have an away goal. However, it is all is not completed. We need to get uh, put in a good performance and, yeah, just win, basically. What I am going to do is no... I'm going to play both of them. I'm going to play both our new signings, strikers, Gaidetta, uh, sorry, G Gaidetta, Gaidetti and Alcazar. I'm going to give Dybala a break. I know he's on 94% fitness, but he's played every, like, every preseason game and every, every competitive game so far. As you can see, he has literally played in every game. He was subbed twice, once in the 90th minute. So even though it doesn't look like it, I'm sure he is quite tired. And I might as well just um, give him the break now rather than a later date. So yeah, Gedetti and Alcacer uh, up front. We've got Zivkovic playing on the right. Um, so yeah, we've tried both Bernardo Silva, Barbosa, and now Zivkovic at that position so far. Um, so yeah, it's good. Pogba playing at deep line playmaker. We've got Bazur in the ball winning midfield. That reminds me, we, we've just signed a new ball winning midfielder who is this guy, Christian Bielek. We signed him from Arsenal for £9.5 million. And yeah, he's just a um, young guy, he has lots of potential, and he's a ball-winning midfielder, primarily, that's why we signed him. And he has got good stats for it, so um, yeah, he's also got quite good at heading. I don't know whether that will, where that will come into his game, but it could do. <laughs> I don't know, first touch and dribbling are also pretty good. So yeah, he's a, he's a decent midfielder. Uh, obviously, he's not in the squad for today's game, as he is unregistered. But yes, carrying on with the team. Alexander is going to be at left wing back. We've got Zuma, Regani, and Ka uh, Chan, Emery Chan. Those are three centre backs. They will often be our three centre backs. As Chiellini's getting on a bit, he'll still play an awful lot though. I assume Chiellini and Marquinhos is sort of fourth choice. We've got Damian fourth out of like, not fourth choice, like fourth. I mean like fourth out, like because there's three starting and then he's the fourth. Anyway, uh, Matthew Damian at right back and Ruli in goal. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this. The bench is Buffon, Marquinhos, Kovacic, Dybala, Stark, Bernardo Silva, and Barbosa. Um, I might put. No, actually, yeah, we'll leave it. So, yeah, we'll submit that. Zivkovic is lacking match sharpness. Um, he'll get over it. And, uh, yeah, let's get into this. So, apply advice to the team. That's fine. Uh, pick up where you left off. I think it's pretty good because we played very well at the weekend. And if it means, like, last week we played very well, then a uh, very good defensive performance. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a smash and grab getting us that win. So, we've got the goal advantage. We've got the away goal. Uh, so, yeah, let's just, if we don't concede, we've won. So, there we go. Sakara now. Last Yara. Damian wins that. It comes to Bazur now. Bazur to Pogba. Can we get an early goal? Here's Gudetti. Finds Alexandra. Alexandra Gudetti. And there you go. It wasn't long before he has actually scored his first goal of the season competitively in just his second match because I don't think he actually played on Saturday. Um, so yeah, he didn't play at all. No, he wasn't subbed in or anything. So in his second match, it only took him, what is that, 42 seconds to score. Lovely from John Gudetti. And we take a 2 0 lead now in the tie. Wow, uh, I'm not saying anything, but 100% record so far <laughs> um, in competitive action, so yeah, it's looking good. Uh, but yeah, Mandanda, Tenkulu, okay, that's not a highlight, that's the highlight had already, it already happened, basically. But yeah, to be honest, a goal for Marseille could make things interesting, because that means if they score one more, they, they're through, because they got the away goals, they got two away goals compared to our one. So yeah, we must be wary, as in Kulu, Doria, they're faffing around with it at the back, Pogba wins it, Dabucci, Depaul, uh, comes to Zivkovic, Bazur, Pogba, finds Alcazar, down to Zivkovic, Alcazar, ball in Gadetti, John Gadetti, oh, I'm so glad I signed him, wow, what was it, 17.75 million pounds, or only, sorry, no, wait, this is Alcazar, why we just clicked on Alcazar, I think Gadetti was just 17.75 million pounds, bargain, absolute fucking bargain, Celtic don't know what they missed when they when they let him go back to Man City, and he went to Salto Vigo, on a free, why didn't Celtic sign him, I don't know, but yeah, good John Gadetti, so glad we signed him because he's already scored two goals in under 13 minutes. Bloody great start. And Paul Pogba's picked up a yellow card, of course, as he always does. There's uh, Lasana Diara there picking up a booking. Sakara now into Depaul. Depaul, Romero, Mandzukic finds Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur now. Ben Arthur to Romero. 
Romero Lass, De Poole, Sakara, Sakara, Chan wins that, Zivkovic, Bazaar, good tackle, Bazaar, Pogba, Sakara does well, De Poole, Romero, Mandzukic, De Poole, Ocampos, uh, uh, Ocampos, I couldn't say it properly, uh, Damian committed a stupid foul, oh my god, I thought it was a penalty again, just deja vu, just flashing back to that Napoli Cup semi-final second leg, Damian, oh, Ben now hits the wall. He's still got it though, and Pogba, great cut out. And this could be a counter here. Alcazar finds Gadetti. Gadetti finds Alexandro now. Okay, end of highlight. Pogba, poor free kick. It's only Dubucci's cut out, and he releases Ben Arfa. And Ben Arfa looks for Manzukic, our former player. Rugani deals with it well and finds Ruli. Alcazar can't win that, so though. So Diara to Romero to Manzukic to Ben Arfa. Ben Arfa to DePaul with a decent effort. Ruli with a smart save there. He kicks long. Debucci now in a new highlight. Ben Arfa, Romero, DePaul. Marseille looking to come back into the game no more, but as they did, they had a sustained period of pressure around this time in the first leg. Hopefully we can just crush it as we did then. Rugani, Gidetti, we could break away and score as well as Alcacer, Pogba, finds Darmian, Darmian, Bazaar, Pogba, Pogba finds Alexandro, Gidetti, oh he wants a hat-trick. You know he does and it's a corner kick now. Pogba with that corner, Sequeira uh, away now, but he clear it, he does, Bazaar cuts it out though, Alcacer, he's got a man on the right, Zivkovic, ah, he's been closed down and he plays a fantastic ball out to Alexandro, but he, that is a uh, cross, it's blocked and it's a new highlight now, Mandanda, god there's so many highlights in this match, DePaul, Romero's been fouled, oh for fuck's sake, Pogba's got himself sent off. <sighs> well, if there was any time he'd do it, I'd prefer him to be when we're 3-0 up in a tie, but still, 60 minutes left, that is not good. We're going to have to play the one striker sort of formation, but which, who do, obviously we're going to bring off Alcacer, because Gadetti has been in stonking form so far. Uh, so yeah, Bernardo Silva, oh god, who are we going to play there? Kovacic, of course, I didn't see him there. So yeah, we'll play him at the deep line playmaker, uh, Gadetti will stay on that left-hand side. So yeah, Gadetti, the sole striker now. Uh, we'll probably bring uh, Dybala on for him at a later stage because he is the tiredest guy out there. Despite having a rest. It's a bit weird, that. But yeah, Zivkovic, Kovacic now. Oh, God, I thought <laughs> I thought our goal, our, our goal was their goal. And I was like, why haven't we just, you know, dribbled in and scored there? But yeah, Gadetti, Zivkovic, Kovacic. Gadetti, oh, he's almost got onto that. But Mandanda clears. Emre Chan wins it. Zivkovic finds Gadetti. Gadetti, lovely ball. Damian. Zivkovic tucks in and there is Zivkovic. Oh, he should have scored that. Andrea Zivkovic. Should have got his first goal of the season here. Bazaar cuts that out now. Kovacic. Alexandro. Into Gadetti. Gadetti fires one. That's wide of the target there. Not good enough really. Mandanda. Mandzukic heads it down to DePaul. To Akampos. To Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur finds Mandzukic. Oh yeah. Um, we sold Axel Witzel by the way. <laughs> Bit of a weird time to mention it. But yeah. Here's Ben Arthur. Alexandro. Good, ta good tackle. Axel Witzel. We had too many deep line playmakers. And uh, Barcelona offered me £17, 17 million. Pounds and I snapped their bloody arm off. Fantastic um, fee to get for a man that we signed for six million just a year ago. And yeah, he did his job, Witzel. But yeah, as I said, we've got too many deep line playmakers now. Um, so one of them had to make way and it was a good fee to get for him. I have so much money. Like, I just keep buying players and be like, oh, finally, I've, I, I'm not used to having money. Sorry, Gadetti's just scored, but I'm talking about this now. <laughs> just like, I have like 40 million pounds in the transfer budget, but I don't need to strengthen anyway. I feel empowered to spend that on a player. Just to bring someone in, just turn us uh, to um, make our squad that little bit bigger. It's already pretty big, and then uh, and then yeah, and then obviously I go and sell someone as a replacement, like, as like so. If say if we bought Morata for sixty million, I'd sell Dybala for sixty million. That wouldn't happen, but yeah, and then I just and then it just happens again. I feel like I'm always having to make transfers, but yeah, I currently have forty million ish in the kitty, but I'm just gonna hold on to it for it to now. Yeah. <laughs> to it for now. Anyway, Gadetti scored a great goal. Darmian with the ball in. Uh, Gadetti, uh, Mandanda couldn't keep it out. Hit the bar and went in. And yeah, even with 10 men, we've just uh, scored another one. So, John Gadetti getting a hat trick. I knew it was good. I was a little bit worried considering he didn't score in the first one. I know that's a bit weird that uh, just because he didn't score in the first game, which only finished 1 0 and there was only one score, obviously Dybala. But, um, yeah, he wouldn't be as good as he is in preseason. And I'm sure he won't be that good anyway, but he has scored a hat trick here in the first half, which is pretty decent. <laughs> Um, as Romero, DePaul, finds Dabucci, Dabucci, and oh, Acampos with a good effort, but really pulling off a fantastic save. 
as long as you just keep them out for as long as possible, we can afford to concede a goal, maybe even two, although I'm rather keep a clean sheet, I'm not going to lie, and maybe get another one, but yeah, here's Alexandro Gadetti, he's gone for it, and man, Danda had to say that, I think he did mean that, it says down here, he certainly didn't mean that, there was no one in there for him to aim to, he was shooting, zooming out, oh, good opportunity there if Zuma was just a little bit further in, and it would actually, like, obviously it would have to come to him further in, Alexandro's got a, got an injury here, we don't really have a like-for-like -like replacement, but Damian can play there. So if we have anyone that can play on the right, right back position, which I think we do, with Marquinhos, okay, that'll do. Unless we want to play Chan out there or someone. Anyway, we're going to bring Marquinhos there. Damian's going to have to play there. Um, Marquinhos, he plays all right there. How is that Emery Chan out there? Not very good at all. And what about Zuma? Yeah, not really good. So we'll play Marquinhos there, and then swap them back over. Um... So yeah, Marquinhos coming off for Alexander just because Alexander's picked up a little bit of an injury. That will be worrying going into the Champions League if he has a big injury because we have no other left back in our Champions League squad other than Darmian, well, that can play wing back left. And um, yeah, that's slightly worrying. Though I think actually Emery Chan could play there a little bit. I'm just going to check that now. Yeah, well, it's one of those accomplished ones. That yeah, he he would be a last resort. But Sakara now, Gadetti gets that way. Zivkovic. I really should have put Kolarov in the squad to be honest. Zivkovic playing that forward in Kolu. Um, Sakara now, New Highlight, Ocampos, Romero, Mandzukic, out to Dabucci. Dabucci with the ball in, nice ball in, and last to the Ara. Really should have scored there, but yeah, really. Sorry, I've got, I've got, I always have hiccups whenever I'm recording. Like, literally, happens so much. It happens like, n it, I've never had hiccups when I'm not recording, like, in the last couple of months. <laughs> so yeah, D Doria, last, Romero, uh, Rugani heads up to Zuma. Really plays it forward. There's no one particularly there, but. Obviously, that's because we got 10 men. <laughs> Campos. DePaul. Sequeira went for goal. God knows why. Um, wasn't too far away in the end, though. Sequeira again here. Ben Arthur. DePaul. Marquinhos does his job well. Clears it for Gadetti will chase. Uh, I am going to make my third and final substitution. It's a bit early for it, but Gadetti's very tired. We're going to bring on Dybala for him uh, just for the last half an hour. Hopefully, Dybala can cause some problems and possibly even gets a fourth goal to really see it later, though. I'm pretty sure it's over. It's Gadetti. He's just so good. He scored. I know it was offside, but he scored. And he's now off the pitch. So, yeah, great, great performance. He should have got a standing ovation because he's scored a hat-trick in the first half. Fantastic performance all round from him. Alessandrini now. Diego finds Dabucci. And Dabucci scored against us. That was odd. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember when uh, Dabucci was playing against Arsenal in the Champions League for us. And then two of our players that went to Arsenal both scored, I think. Oh, no, I think it was just Caceres, but it was also a cross goal. So, repeats. As, um, yeah, Dibucci scores a cross goal. But, yeah, it's still 3-1. There's still 20 minutes left. So, unless they score three more goals, um, yeah, we're, we're sitting sitting pretty nicely. As Bazur plays to Kovacic, Zivkovic, Dybala. We're still creating, and Dybala hits a shot not too far wide. Mandanda to Fazio to Diara. Romero to Ben Arthur to Diego. Diego finds Dabucci and Zuma cuts that out nicely. Kurt Zuma now. Zuma to Rugani. Rugani finds Damian. Damian to Dybala. Dybala now. Dybala. Keeps going. Dybala's still going. Dybala. Zivkovic. Oh, Zivkovic. Bazur now. Kovacic. Marquinhos. Gets the ball in. Dybala. Fantastic save, Mandanda. Dybala is so good. Oh, he's so good. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Aside from my weird Dybala compliments, Damian now on the ball. Kovacic has a shot. Mandanda saves. It will, if it wasn't for Mandanda, we would be like 9-1 up overall across the two legs. Dybala. Mandanda is a very good keeper. I'll give him that. Ben Arthur. I've always quite liked him, um, Mandanda. If I, if I'm ever doing a uh, a league unsave, it probably will be with Marseille. Because I just, yeah, A, I like their... I, I've just always sort of supported them in France. If that makes sense. Pr probably just because they were the second team when Lyon and them were... It was always Lyon first, um, Marseille second. I don't know why I always support them. Um, it's the same with Sporting Lisbon in uh, in Portugal. I supported Sporting Lisbon. Because when... Like, the years that I was watching Portuguese football for the first time... Um, I, I know that Benfica and Porto are usually the top two. But Porto and Sporting Lisbon were the top two, like, the couple of years that... I, I watched it and yeah, I just really like sporting Lisbon. I remember Liedson played very well for them, as did Yannick Diallo. So yeah, I think Liedson's retired now, and Diallo, I think he's in Lille or somewhere like that. So yeah, 
just remember though that season and I really support supporting Lisbon that year even though like none of the games were live although I did go to Portugal and whenever they were on um, that week which was actually quite a lot because it was like the European football week we used to go watch it this is now just turned into like me watching this and like not really taking it in whilst talking to you about early years of my footballing experience but yeah we won <laughs> And yeah, we're through to the group stage of the Champions League. So, I will probably show you the draw for that before uh, before the, we actually get into the game next episode. But yeah, I don't know what the next game will. It could be that Champions League group stage game. Uh, if it's against like the first seed, if it's against a team like Man United or Bayern Munich or someone like that, then I'll probably do that. If not, I will join you back to the Lazio game. But the draw I will show anyway. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys. For that one, if you have enjoyed this one, which uh, I assume you have considering, we've got uh, a fantastic win in the Champions League, plus that Serie A win, which obviously you didn't see, but still good, uh, then smash that like button. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. I've been the FM Gaffer, I'll see you guys next time.